Hi everyone, uh, this is CHN 201 Physical Chemistry Workshop Lecture 2, which is on molecular collisions. I'm Dr. Andrew Tehemikyowa, a lecturer of physical chemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Benue State University, Makurdi, Nigeria. This lecture is meant for my students here at the Benue State University, as well as other students worldwide who are interested in learning about some of the problems I'm solving. If you've got any questions or any comments, you can send them to me through my university email address or my Google email address. Alternatively, you can leave comments below this video and I'll do my best to answer them. Today's lecture is about molecular collisions and what we'll be doing, we are going to be basically calculating the number of collisions gas molecules make per time. So after the lecture, I expect you to be able to calculate the number of collisions gas molecules make per time. Uh, the question says, Calculate the number of collisions a single CO2 molecule makes with other molecules in one second at 32 degrees C and a pressure of 1 atm. The B part of the question says using the answer in A, estimate the collision density, that is the total number of collisions within a given volume. So our first strategy for question number um, A is to substitute the given quantities into the collision frequency formula. This will enable us to obtain the number of collisions per second. Next, we are going to multiply it by the time to obtain the number of collisions within the time interval. So let the collision frequency of a single CO2 molecule with other molecules be Z, that is small letter Z. So small letter Z, uh, which represents the collision frequency of a single molecule with other molecule with other molecules, is the product of the collision uh, cross section. Um, which is sigma, uh, pressure, the mean speed, rho 2, divided by the product of the post mass casting and temperature. So the mean speed taken from our first workshop lecture is given by this expression. Um, 8 times gas constant times temperature divided by pi times the molar mass or in square root. So R, the gas constant, has this value, the temperature given 32 degrees C, which can be converted to 305.15 Kelvin. Uh, the molar mass, which is the molar mass of CO2, uh, can be obtained by adding up the mass of carbon plus two times the mass of oxygen because uh, we have got two, more, two um, atoms of oxygen in there. And that gives us 44 gram per mole, which can be converted to 44 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 3 kilograms per mole. All of this can be substituted into the mean speed formula. And this is eight, that's it there. This is the gas constant. This is the temperature. This is pi. And this is the molar mass. And that gives 383 meters per second. The collision cross section for CO2 is not 0.52 nanometer squared. 
but we can't use that value the way it is. We need to convert it to the SI unit. And how we do this is to simply substitute um, 10 to the power of negative 9 and then take the square because there are two of them there. That gives 5.2 times 10 to the power of negative 19 meters squared. The pressure is 1 atm and 1 atm is equal to 101, 325 Newton per meter squared. Uh, Kate's of B is the post mass constant, which is 1.381 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joule per Kelvin. So if we substitute all of these quantities into the expression for small liter z, which is the uh, collision frequency of a single molecule with the rest of the molecules, then we obtain this expression at 5.2 times 10 to the power of negative 19 represents the collision cross section. 101, 325 newton per meter squared represents the pressure. 383 uh, meters per second represents the mean speed and Root 2 um, remains root 2. Um, Kb 1.381 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joule per Kelvin. And T 305.15 Kelvin. This evaluates to 6.8 times 10 to the power of 19 collisions per second, which can be approximated to 7 times 10 to the power of 9 collisions per second. So um, next, we multiply the number of uh, the collision frequency with the time to obtain the number of collisions a single molecule makes with other molecules. So we substitute that here, and then we substitute time there. That gives us approximately 7 times 10 to the power of 9 collisions um, altogether. The strategy for the B part of the question is to multiply the collision frequency, small it as z, by half times the total number of molecules to account for the collisions of all the molecules. Then divide by the volume V of the gas to obtain the collision density, capital letter Z. So capital letter Z is equal to half times N times small letter Z divided by volume. And this simplifies to this. And of course, um, capital letter N, um, this normal N, is the total number of molecules capital letter V, volume of gas, and this tileish N represents the number density. Now, the collision frequency is equal to 7 times 10 to the power of 9 collisions per second. Um, the number density it's actually the ratio of the total number of molecules divided by the volume of gas. And it's equal to the pressure divided by the post mass constant times temperature. When we substitute the pressure, the post mass constant and temperature, it gives us the number density as 2.40 times 10 to the power of 25 per meter cube. So, Z, capital letter Z, can be obtained by substituting this parameter thing. And this is half there, which represents what has been there before. And this is the collision frequency, and this represents the number density. This evaluates to 8.4 times 10 to the power of 34 collisions per second per meter cube which approximates to 
0, or rather 8, times 10 to the power of 34 collisions per second per meter cube. Thanks for watching. The link to the PDF version of this lecture is in the video description. Again, if you have any comments or any questions, you can leave them in the comment section of this video. Alternatively, you can send me an email through my university email address or my Google email address. Bye.